I am one of 53 deserving young ladies vying for the title of Miss America in September. Now, what makes me more deserving of the title, I couldn't tell you. However, I would love to share with you what I'm passionate about as Miss Iowa and what I would hope to build on if I was lucky enough to be your next Miss America. I know what it's like to live a life looking blatantly different. I've learned all of the social graces of joking about having one hand. I know what it's like for people and society to assume there are many things I cannot do. And I know what it's like for people to assume situations are handed to you because you look different. And I've really lived my life in a way that is trying to disprove all of those things. So it was really, really scary for me when I all of a sudden became news after I won the title of Miss Iowa. Suddenly, my picture and a witty tagline were splashed everywhere all over the internet and in all of the newspapers. And it felt to me as if the 23 years I had worked um, to prove I was so much more than having one hand was broken. And ultimately I realized that was a very selfish point of view because immediately stories started coming to me by Facebook and by email and people just reaching out and wanting to tell me their stories of how they felt different, of how they have overcome something big in their life. And it really made me realize that this voice I've been given, as scary as it was, was so much more than me. So what was I going to do with it? And how was I going to deal with it? And that's how I came up with the power of one. And I really wanted to find a place where it was about feeling different because let's be honest we've all felt different and that's why you all connect with my story and I really think that this is a place where we can do that where we can share our stories and we can celebrate our stories and I realized that people just wanted to know that it's okay to stumble or it's okay to have something that looks different or feels different because that doesn't put you behind that doesn't make you a lesser person, and that doesn't mean you're alone. And that's what this is all about for me. So ultimately, through you know this big scary situation of me feeling as though my reputation and my heart were a little bit compromised, has really flipped. And it was very humbling, and it's a situation where it's not about me. It's about all of you. Watch for me in Atlantic City, Sunday, September 15th, live on ABC.